Hi, and welcome to Rainy Dewey's Art Spot. Uh, welcome to part two of uh, this little chicken painting series. I recently got a new iPhone, and I noticed that when I record that the camera is focusing on my hand instead of on the image. And I'm trying to figure it out, but if anybody has any um, wisdom on that, please share it because um, it's kind of irritating to watch for me and I would think for you. But uh, anyway, let me continue. This is just a short little um, video. Um, I'm going to be posting until this little painting is done. Uh, this is uh, this little chicken. I tried to name all my chickens, but I had 25 of them, and um, so there were a few that were quite distinctive. I know all the combs were all very unique, and this chicken, her name uh, was Queen Victoria because the, of the V on her comb on the very end. And so um, I had a few others, which I'll do paintings of those in the future, but I'll, I'll give you a little, uh, I'll show you some of the other ones that I had. Um, one of them I named Candy Corn because when they had those cute little beaks, their little beaks looked like candy corns. And as they matured, their beaks changed a little bit and she no longer had a candy corn beak, but by then that was her name. So anyway, um, these chickens were all sitting on a roost in a chicken coop that I actually built myself. I built the chicken coop inside of my uh, one of my garage bays. I had, at the time, a three-car garage that was uh, detached from the house, and so I thought I had this huge brainstorm that I was going to build my chicken coop inside my garage. Um, I can tell you, without any hesitation, that was a bad idea. <laughs> I've had many bad ideas over my life, and that was one. And um, I was using scraps and so on and so forth. And, and uh, at the end of this video, I'll give you a, a little... Uh, just a little shot of this uh, of the chicken coop. I'll put the whole um, photo album of the chicken coop building in um, the next video. But um, so they were sitting on the uh, uh, roosting board that I had in their coop, and um, when she had one of the black Australopithecus next to her. Now, when you're talking about painting and design. That black chicken is much, much darker than Queen Victoria is. So I'm going to have to try to figure out how to balance that dark, dark corner um, with the rest of uh, the painting. So I'm thinking I'm going to leave the chickens on a white background. And so let me see. I'm not sure it matters because it's not a piece of fine art but i always try to think about those design elements when i am painting so you can see i'm laying in um, i had my base coat that i let dry and now i'm laying in some clear water and i'm going over it with a little bit of a dark color so the light color shines through and uh, creating this illusion of highlights on the feathers so that's what i'm doing and i'm going to stop rambling I uh, wanted to thank you so much for watching if you uh, have watched and please come back and watch the rest if you're so inclined. Thank you so much. Blessings to you and yours. Happy painting.